Hello, you are welcome. Here, how to solve this nice algebra problem. We are finding the value of x from here. Then we can write this as 3 times 27 times x raised to power 3 minus. Here we can write this as 2 times 9. Then times x raised to power 2, which is equals to 1. Then also we can express 27 here as 3 raised to power 3. So this will be written as 3 times 3 raised to power 3. Then times x raised to power 3 minus 2 times here. We can write this as 3 square. Then times x square, which is equals to 1. And from the law of indices, we have same power here. We can write this together. And this will be 3 times 3x raised to power 3. Then minus here we have 2 times 3x. Then raised to power 2, which is equals to 1. Then in the next step, we have 3x common. Let's use a letter T to represent 3x. So we say let T be equals to 3x. Then we substitute T here. This will become 3T raised to power 3. Then minus 2T square equals to 1. Then let's take 1 to this side to form an equation so this gives us 3 t cube minus 2 t square minus 1 equals to 0. Now let's solve it this way. Minus 1 here we can write it as minus 3 plus 2 and this becomes 3 t cube minus 2 t square then minus 3 plus 2 which is equals to 0. Then from here, let's take minus 3 and 3t cube together. So we have 3t cube, then minus 3, then we have minus t minus 2t squared plus 2 equals to 0. So what is common here is 3. We have 3 out, then t cube minus 1 left, then minus 2 common here. We have minus 2 out. We have t squared minus 1, which is equals to 0. Then here, 1 can be written as 1 key. And 1 here can be written as 1 square. When we follow the difference of 2 key, this will be 3 multiplied by t minus 1. Then times t squared plus t times 1, that's t. Then plus 1 square. That's T1. Then close bracket here. That is for this. Then minus 2. Also difference of 2 square. We have T plus 1. Then multiply by T minus 1. Which is equal to 0. Then from here we can factor what is common. T minus 1 common. When we factor that out. So here we are going to have 3 times t square plus t plus 1 left then what is left here minus 2 times t plus 1 left when we take t minus 1 half then equals to 0 from here then in the next step we can simplify this and this is t minus 1 then to bracket 3 open this we have 3t square plus 3t plus 3 then minus 2 upon this we have minus 2t minus 2 which is equals to 0 then from here we have t minus 1 then multiply by we have 3t square then 3t minus 2t that's just t that's plus t then 3 minus 2 that's just 1 plus 1 which is equals to 0 so here we have 2 possible cases we have t minus 1 equals to 0 
what we have 3 t square plus t plus 1 equals to 0. From here, we can take minus 1 here, we have t equals to 1. And don't forget, when we recall the value of t, we use 3x as t, which is equals to 1. So on this side, we have x equals to 1 over 3. Now, let's solve for this other side. We can use quadratic formula here. t will then be equals to minus b. b is 1, that's minus 1 plus or minus square root of b square, 1 square, minus 4ac is 3, then c is 1, then over 2a, that's 2 times 3 from here. Then, when we solve, this will be t equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of, here we still have 1, then minus 12, over 6. Then, here, we have t now, equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 11 that's 11 high then over 6 now we have two other values of t here the first being t equals to minus 1 plus root 11 high over 6 and the other being t equals to minus 1 minus root 11 high over 6. These two are complex, you know, solution here. Then, also, we use t as 3x, which is equals to minus 1 plus root 11 high over 6. And since uh, we want to remove this 3 here, multiply by 1 over 3 on both sides. So, multiply by 1 over 3. 3 cancel 3 here. We have x here equals to minus 1 plus root 11 i then over 6 times 3 here that's 18 so we have another value of x which is a complex solution then also on this side t is 3x also equals to minus 1 minus root 11 i over 6 also multiply by 1 over 3 here remain x, which is equal to minus 1, minus root 11 high, over 18 on this side. We also have another complex solution here. So, all together now we have three solutions here. And uh, the first one, x1, is equal to 1 over 3. And we have the second one, x2. Minus 1 plus root 11 high over 18. And the other one, we have x3. That is minus 1 minus root 11 high over 18. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. See you next class. Eh? Bye for now.